Hi guys, it's Steph. Welcome back to my vlog channel. Today we are making some banana muffins. I have been wanting banana muffins. I just went to, I think the lens is kind of blurry. I think it's better. Okay, so I just went to the grocery store to get some sour cream because sour cream is in this banana muffin recipe. This recipe is so good. It makes like the most moist banana muffins and I love banana flavored anything like they're definitely my favorite and then carrot cake and carrot bars are definitely next don't mind me I'm a little congested from my allergies but we're making some banana muffins and I bought these bananas a few days ago and they're still so yellow and to make banana bread and muffins really really good you should wait until your bananas are like really brown but I googled it and it said that if you put them in the oven at 300 for 15 to 20 minutes or until they're brown it does the same thing so we're gonna try that out today so I'm gonna take two bananas off of here we're trying something new today so I'm gonna put these in the oven for like 15 minutes and we'll see what they look like. But here are the ingredients that you will need. You can also find this on my Steph's Meals Instagram in the highlighted recipe stories. But it's super easy to make. I usually have everything, but I did not have sour cream. So, which is like a last added step. Even if you don't like sour cream, I know I always get comments and they're like, I hate sour cream, like that ruined it, I won't make them. I'm like, you, you guys, you don't taste you don't taste a half a cup of sour cream in this when they're baked and everything. It makes them fluffy. Like I promise you, your banana muffins will taste like banana and not like sour cream. <laughs> so, um, anyways, I'm gonna let those get browned in the oven and let's begin with the first step. So step number one with your mixer, add in a cup of sugar and then one softened stick of butter and you are just going to whip these together for a couple minutes until it gets super, super fluffy. I just got the dogs some new toys at the pet store. Is that some broccoli? They got broccoli and bones. <laughs> that toy is so cute. <laughs> Hershey, let me see. Hershey, let me see it. Come here. Let me see it, Hershey. Mochi, where's your broccoli? This is a toy for tough chewers. How cute. You got your broccoli? And then I also got them those two little bones. They have destroyed my couch, you guys. Like having dogs on the furniture with toys is just a little bit, <laughs> a little bit wild. I had a rip here. My mom sewed it up and then there was, there's another rip over there, so. <laughs> they definitely have made this couch theirs but that's okay because I love them. <laughs> also, I want to show you guys my plants. My plants are doing so well over here on this table. Like, look at that. This is a money tree. And then this is a ponytail bamboo. I got that from Trader Joe's. And I'm not too sure what these ones are, but I think they're so pretty. They're doing so well. This one though, right here on my kitchen table is doing amazing. Like look at these leaves. Okay, and then it should look like this. Nice and whipped. Okay, in a separate bowl we are going to mix together our dry ingredients. So this is gonna be one and a half cups of flour. And then we are going to do one teaspoon of baking soda, a half teaspoon of salt, and just mix this all together. I don't know why like you're supposed to do this step. They say like to always mix the dry ingredients together first. I don't know why, but that's, that's what you're supposed to do. Okay, back to the mixing bowl. We are going to add two eggs. and mix this together. And then we're doing one teaspoon of vanilla extract. You can do a little extra if you want. Just mix it a little. Okay, and while it's mixing, I'm gonna slowly add in the dry. Okay, 
Our bananas just came out the oven. Check that out. Okay, cool. I hope this tastes good and it's not going to be like a burnt banana. <laughs> burnt banana muffins. Okay. We're going to see if this works. I feel like they can maybe be in there longer, but I don't want to wait. Oh, yeah. They are soft on the inside. Okay, cool. We're going to squeeze them out. I'm not waiting for them to cool because I don't want to. <laughs> I, I feel like it won't alter the taste that much. Like, I know it makes them sweeter if the banana's more brown, but like we do add a lot of sugar in those anyways. So I feel like, oh wow, that worked really nice. Look at that. Okay, cool. I love watching the banana come out. I think it's like so satisfying. So I usually just do two. I think the recipe's like a cup of mashed banana but I think two is usually just a good amount. Cause like when recipes say like a cup of this, like a cup of shredded carrots, it's like, okay, well can you tell me maybe how many carrots I need to buy? Like maybe say like two medium sized carrots. Like that would be way easier. But I'm just gonna mash these up with the fork. They already are extremely soft, but just mash them up a little bit and then I'm just going to throw them in there. And we mix. Okay, this step is optional. We are adding in some chocolate chips. I like need chocolate chips with my banana muffins. I think it makes it taste so good. So we're gonna do a half a cup. And then I like to also add some on the top to make them look pretty. And stir this in. And the last step is adding in the sour cream. And then we are going to fold it in and not mix it. So we're gonna do half a cup or half of an eight ounce container. So I'm just gonna cut this in half. And fold it all in together. Keeps it fluffy. Okay, I think I'm gonna do this size of muffins, but whatever size you do will depend on how long you bake it for. So I have the oven preheated for 350. I have done jumbo ones before too, which are, are really cute and they're very good, but I think this is a good size. And then I'm gonna use a little ice cream scooper so then they are all the same size. I might have to do two batches too because I only have one of these trays. Beautiful. And now just tap the tray down. And then I like to clean up around the edges if I make any spills. This tray is pretty full. I don't know how much they rise. I, I don't really remember, but muffins don't rise too much, so I think we should be good. Now I'm just gonna add a few chocolate chips on top. I just like how it looks after it bakes. I hope it doesn't like, <laughs> they don't get too big and like all are touching. I don't think they will though. Well, if so, I'll know for next batch. This is how much I have left. So definitely a little bit more. Here's how they look, and now I'm gonna throw them in for, I'm gonna do 15 minutes, but I'm gonna keep checking them to make sure they don't get too browned. Okay, I guess I could've maybe made them a little bit smaller, but I just checked them with a toothpick and they're ready now. It's been about like 18 minutes. Okay, here we have batch two. I think I filled these ones up perfect. The other ones were a little bit, a little bit overfilled. Here they are. These ones turned out kind of ugly, but the next batch will be better. <laughs> I'm sure they taste good though. Let's try one. I cut one in half and put some butter on top. Mmm. Still so good though. Might look kind of ugly, but mmm. <laughs> Yum. You guys, look how absolutely perfect these muffins are turning out. Look at this. Look how perfect. Okay, so I decided I'm gonna make another batch because I have more bananas. And it's a Friday night, I don't have any plans. And tomorrow morning I'm leaving early to go on a drive to go see Stevie Nicks. Me and my brother are going with my mom. She really wanted to see Stevie Nicks. So we're going to Columbus, which is like a two hour drive. 
And then I'm also taking the dogs to their dog watcher and trainer. So I thought I could give him some banana muffins. Him and his girlfriend might want them. I don't know. I like like giving people like food. <laughs> so I thought I could give them some banana muffins. And then also one of my best friends loves my banana muffins. So I was going to give her some. And then also I was going to bring some with us so we could all have them like in the morning for breakfast at our Airbnb or something or like as snacks and then obviously I'll give my mom some and yeah so I'll keep all the ugly ones and give away all the pretty ones so I found this trick online on how to soften butter really really quickly so I need another stick and this one is fresh out of the fridge so I actually did this for the the muffins I just made as well because I didn't soften my butter so you just open it up and you set it down I have a cup of water that was in the microwave dump it out and then you put it over top of the butter and the steam softens the butter so it doesn't melt it it just softens it so i just do that and now the butter is softened so you guys know the drill oops some paper is still on there one cup of sugar and a stick of butter and whip it together Next, we are going to try and make like carrot cake or something. Carrot cupcakes or carrot bars with cream cheese icing. I love carrot cake. And it's like healthy because carrots. <laughs> and lots of sugar. <laughs> really though, it's like, I know they always said like carrots help your eyesight growing up. Is that like a myth? Cause I always ate carrots and like I have pretty bad vision. I don't know. It's probably like good for you internally, but not like vision wise. Okay, let's check on the second batch. Oh yeah, perfect. See, all I needed was one trial and I got it perfect. <laughs> Isn't that right? Okay, I am officially done making banana muffins for the night. Look how pretty these turned out. These are like the perfect size and they look delicious. They look like those packaged little bites or light bites, whatever they're called. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you make this recipe, make sure to tag me. But thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.